Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way through Sin's Fortress. But before we do, I want to show everybody I do have some Homeward Bones on. And I also still have the rusted iron ring on as well. We're going to be trudging through some tar today, so that's why I have the rusted iron ring on. And with, that, uh, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Right here we have a pressure plate that's going to send some darts out. So be careful. We can actually use these to our advantage with the Serpent Men. At least one of them, that is. They're not really that hard. They can hit hard. But they're not really that hard. They can be backstabbed and parried. I'll try to parry one here in a minute. We'll see if uh, I can succeed. Be careful. We're going to have one of the serpent men shooting lightning at us. There we go. Got our parry. Go ahead and run across. I'm going to pull out our bow. I'm going to shoot this serpent man. We should be relatively safe here. As long as we don't hit the pendulum swinging. There we go. We're going to two hand our weapon. Walk back over here, and down here, we have three serpent men. Go ahead and take them out. Be very careful when you drop down. You are going to take fall damage, obviously. But you don't want to fall all the way down. That will kill you. We have... A Titanite demon off in the distance there. We're just going to use our bow to shoot him. There are four Titanite demons all together in this area. But I'm only going to kill two of them. The other two are extremely hard and difficult. And I don't find it to be worth it to kill them. And I'll show you where they're at in just a moment here. First, let's take care of the two that are in front of us. I'm going to step over here. There's our second Titanite Demon. Gonna step out of the way there. Let's try to keep a distance from them. They are pretty slow unless they jump, obviously, then, you know. But we have pillars in front of us, so we should be all right. There we go. And there is the second one. They both drop Demon Titanite. Go ahead and pick us up a soul. And then we'll pick up the scythe.
over here to the left this area is where the two other really strong um, Titanite demons are. I wouldn't bother with them. I would save them for later and then come back and kill them when you're much stronger. Sweet. We got the Titanite catch pull. That is not a guaranteed drop. Uh, it's random. Hopefully everybody else gets it. Pretty cool uh, weapon to use. And we also get some more demon Titanite. Let's go up this ladder. Pick ourselves up a soul. We're going to smack this wall. It's an illusory wall. And then we're going to climb another ladder. We're going to be fighting a giant. Matter of fact, the giant that we're going to be fighting is the one that opened up Sin's Fortress for us. So essentially, we're going to be horrible people and kill an enemy that just wanted to help us. They're not too hard. Just kind of stay behind them. Let them stomp around a, a few times. Unless they go into their frenzy attack. If they go into their frenzy attack, back up. Back up as far as you can. Let them go through it. And then they'll uh, get tired and kind of fall to the floor for a little bit. And you can smack them in the face. We also got a tight night chunk. They always drop a tight night chunk there. So worth getting. We're going to hop down where we looted this corpse. There we go. Just keep running. Run past these two. Wait. And then run past these two. Be very careful. There's another pressure plate. You step on it. There's going to be some darts that shoot out. Pick up some large Titanite. If you want to kill that guy down there, you can. I'm not going to. That guy gets ran over. He's going to come back. There we go. I'm going to wait for the ball to come down again. Once it does, we're going to run up a little ways. So run up here. Kind of veer off. We're going to pick up the ring of steel protection. Let's go ahead and put that on real quick. I believe, yes, there it is. Let that ball roll down. Then if we fall off right here, we can pick up the shuttle. Now, I haven't seen them spawn lately but every now and then there'll be two serpent men that'll be over here so if they're they're there for you um just you know try to sneak up on him and get a backstab uh just try not to hit sigmire you hit sigmire he's gonna get aggravated or you're gonna knock him off the ledge there and kill him let's go ahead and talk to him hmm 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 oh ho ah where did you come from? Splendid news, I tell you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ah, so you see my plight. Yes, indeed. I've run up against a wall, or a ball to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too plump 
to be out running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, but who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> Perhaps I could try some rolling. Bah, no chance. My head would spin. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Can I make it? Yeah, I can make it. And then run back up to the doorway that we didn't go through. We're going to go through the fog wall. Right here, we're going to have another pressure plate and there's going to be some darts that spit out at us from behind. So what you want to do is you want to run. Block. No, oh, that didn't work out. We'll go for a backstab, maybe. Jeez. It's making me look like a chump. There we go, finally. Be really careful. There's going to be a ball that rolls down here, too. Try not to stay too close. We're going to run up the stairs, and then where this broken pillar is... We're going to hop down. Grab ourselves another item. We're going to get the black sorcery set along with the sorcery hush. Then if we open the door up here. We'll uh, be coming by here a little later, and I'll show everybody where this is a little later into the episode. We're going to hop down. There's a serpent man. This is also another viable way to kill the serpent men block wait for him to attack just trying to show everybody different ways to take care of them that way it helps them out whenever they're fighting them get the slumbering dragon crest ring and then we want to inch off right here this this is the pe pendulum that's swinging from the very beginning just kind of inch off Gonna run past here. I like to be extra cautious here. Also, again, the pressure plate did pop back up again. Keep that in mind. The ball should not be rolling over here, but every now and then it'll switch positions. So just be aware of that. Again, pressure plate is back up again. We'll see if the ball is still running running down this way. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to run up here and watch. It's going to come rolling down. Smack me in the face. Nope. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it. If this happens, just run up here. Turn the lever. Dark Souls is being very buggy today. We're going to wait for it to uh, knock another ball down. We're going to chase that ball down. Just keep running. I'm going to veer off. 
and then just stand right here and watch the balls roll in until it fills up once it fills up it's gonna break that wall right there One more. There we go. Then we can pick up this item. Covetous gold serpent ring. Can run back over here. Let that ball roll by. Right here is our first mimic. Hopefully I can get a good view of this chain. So if the chain is facing this way where it's facing towards you and it's furled out, that means that it's a mimic. If it's curled backwards, it's a safe chest. Also, every now and then you can see the mouth move, kind of see inside of it. That'll also let you know like, hey, this is a mimic. I'm going to go ahead and kill this mimic. Be very careful. These things hit very, very hard. Get the lightning spear. We missed the elevator, but that's okay. We're going to face this way. As soon as we can run off, you want to run off immediately. Do not want to let that go all the way up. It will kill you. So right here, the door is kind of busted off here. Like somebody kicked the door off the hinges or something. Over here is where we got the black sorcerer set and the sorcery hush. That's the door I said I would show everybody. We're going to go ahead and push this lever this way here. We're going to break the wall down there. That way, a little later, we can come back. We'll let one more ball be smacked down there. There we go. I don't know why, because the Serpent Man is just going to get healed. We're going to rest at a bonfire here shortly. By the way, you do want that ball facing that way. That way it's just spewing out into a chasm or something. I don't know. Right here we have a pressure plate. Let it shoot the darts. Then run across. Here is a butthole clenching spot. Oop, messed that up. Take that serpent man out. There's another one. Pick up some more large titanite shards. If you didn't have enough before, you definitely have enough now. So with those pendulums, what I like to do is get as close as I can. And then as soon as it like hits the middle there, I'll start running on like towards it. And then I usually make it across. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying. I almost died there trying to explain um, the pendulum situation so up here we're gonna get revenge we have another serpent man
Didn't even give him a chance. Good. So here we have some more pendulums. These two sections are, I think, the hardest because there's just so little time to get across. Again, I wait, start running, and then boom, run across. Be careful, there's two pressure plates here. We'll shoot darts if you activate them. We're gonna come off to the right here. We're gonna have two balder knights to kill. Nice, get two Titanite shards. Sweet. Get some Balder leggings. Get the flame stone plate ring. So up here where we're about to go, we're going to have a giant throwing large fire pots at us and they're going to explode. What I like to do is I like to rush up here and drop off to the um, bonfire first. That way we have a place to respawn at if we die. Right there you could hear the uh, fire bomb hitting down. Real quick, we're gonna we're, uh, real quick. Oh my goodness, can't talk today. Uh, real quick, we're gonna kindle the bonfire. I don't think I can talk any day. <laughs> Just a part of Mr. Wayne not being able to speak correctly. We're gonna hop down right here. What I like to do is come back up here. Back there is where he threw the firebomb. Some more large titanite. I'm gonna uh, come over here to where we see this large balder knight. At least I think they're balder knights. He's staring at the undead chapel. I think it was an undead chapel is what that's called. Or the undead church. Come on. No, you do not. They have a very high chance of dropping large Titanite shards. You can go down this ladder. We're going to fight uh, Knight Ricard. Be careful. He can parry you. But I don't find him to be too hard. Mostly I back up and then let him do his stupid <laughs> try to stabby stabby you. He, he's not hard at all. Just back up, let him do his attack, and then smack him. We get Rickard's Rapier. Pretty cool weapon. I've never used it before, but it, it looks pretty cool. Right here we have the Divine Blessing. And then we're going to have a rare ring of sacrifice. So normally you get a ring of sacrifice and that will prevent you from losing your souls when you die. And then it'll break and, you know, you'll have to use another one. With the rare ring of sacrifice, you can die, not lose your souls. But also if you have a chance of being cursed, it will nullify that. So you won't get cursed. So not only will you not lose your souls, you won't be cursed either. So very niche ring. Through his firebomb. Over here we're going to jump across. You want to jump on the left side. Be very careful. Don't fall. Just stay on that left side and jump across. I know it, it's hard. You might have to do it a couple times. But I promise you, you can do it. I believe in you. Let's talk to this guy right here. 
Oh, what? What? Who, who are you? Ah, another undead, eh? I took on Sen's fortress alone, but I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that feeling, for I was the same. So, let me help you out with your soul searching. There's nothing more to say. I'm finished. We're both on the brink, you see. End of story. You bloody fool. Let me give you a nibble of advice. Don't even consider visiting an Orlando. Not in your state. For a century they've tried and failed. The Night King Rendell, Black Iron Tarkas, and even Logan himself. You won't stand a chance, you'll be eaten alive. But go along if you wish, if only to deepen your despair. He's got a lot of cool items that you can um, purchase from him. Regular arrows. Right here you can get the Katarina armor along with the big Balder Knight's armor and the regular balder knight armor and you can buy two rings from him nothing at all fine then rush in like a naked babe and be skinned alive we're gonna go down these stairs be very careful you fall down these stairs you're most likely going to die it's a pretty long drop hopefully this isn't making everybody dizzy i know it's making me dizzy Be careful for this guy. They're not hard. We're going to grab the cage key. Okay, right here, instead of jumping back across, we're going to hop down. Grab ourselves a sniper crossbow. Drink an Estus. Kill this Balder Knight. Then we're going to run to the top. I noticed that the Balder Knight just dropped something. That's okay. And then we want to hug the wall so we don't activate these traps. And then smack that guy off. That way we don't have to worry about him. Now here's the real butthole clinching spot right here. We have to run back across. And again, like I said... Start running as soon as they um, hit the middle. You'll kind of run up against the pendulum itself. But as soon as it gets out of your way, you'll already be at a running stance. Normally that uh, guy does not respawn there. So if he does on your game, go ahead and kill him. You don't want to be trying to run across here and... Have a guy smack you off of it. That's never any fun. And the ball's still spitting off that way. So what we want to do is we want to run down. Past this. We have one more serpent man to take care of. There we go. They can drop their sword, by the way. Let's go ahead and talk to Logan. Hmm. You seem quite lucid. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. 
The inactivity is repressive. We used a cage key to open it up. Talk to him again. Oh, heavens. Thank you. I'm saved. And I'd love to resume my travels. But I must log a few things first. And I owe you a favor. I will return to Firelink Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. Go ahead and open this cage up. Get ourselves a soul of a hero. And then we're going to use a homeward bone to head back to the bonfire. I'll see everybody there. Now we just have to finish up the rest of this area. We're going to take out the giant that is throwing the big fire pots at us. And then we're going to kill the boss. That's pretty much all we have to do. Off to your left, there is a Balder Knight. I'm not going to fight him. There's no item over there to get, so I find it to be very pointless to fight him. I'm going to use the cage key to open up this cage. This is an elevator. I'm not going to write it down. I'm just going to step in, roll out, and activate that elevator. It'll lead you all the way to the beginning of Sin's Fortress. Right here, you want to take this at a sprint the giant will toss a fire pot over there it is within his capabilities as you can tell wherever you see the black spots on the ground that's where the uh, giant can throw be really careful This is a lot smaller of an area to be fighting a giant in compared to where we fought the first giant at. There we go. Get another Titanite chunk. Break these and get a really good view of the chapel where we uh, fought the gargoyles. Chapel, church, I don't know. One of the two. One of the two. Right there's the boss fog. We're going to be going through that in just a second. One of the easier bosses in my opinion. Matter of fact, we can see him garden over there. That's going to be the iron golem. We'll summon in Black Iron Tarkus. Black Iron Tar Tarkus can solo this boss by himself. Legit. We're just going to wait for him to come over here. He's kind of slow because of all his armor. Let's go through the fog wall and fight the boss. Be really careful when you go towards the boss. He has an attack he's going to shoot out right at the beginning. Just don't let him grab you and don't be right in front of him when he swings his axe and you should be all right. Look how much damage he does. Oh my goodness. Iron Tarkus. What's going on, man? There you go. The Iron Golem. Super easy boss. Shouldn't be hard for anybody. He's going to give us his soul and we're going to get a humanity from him. And that is where I'm going to end the video today. 
I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. It really means the world to me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.